There's a useful teaching that comes in the commentary. It's called the cycle of action. First there's the action, and then there's the vipaka, the result of the action. And then there's your reaction, which usually is defiled. And then based on that defilement you act again. Unfortunately it's not an ironclad cycle. There are places you can cut it. Because if you don't cut it you, and you keep acting on defilement, there's going to be more and more suffering. You do something skillful, and then you get attached to the results. And then out of that attachment, out of that desire to keep them going, you do unskillful things. Or you act in an unskillful way, and then the bad results come, and you try to push them away. So there's no way you can cut the connection between the action and the result, but the defilement is optional. This is where you can be responsible. Things come up and you have to remind yourself, these are the results of my past actions. As the Buddha said, you want to see everything that comes in through the eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body, and mind as old karma. When you see it as old karma, then you ask yourself, well, what can I say? I must have done something that I didn't really think through. This time, think it through. Instead of complaining about the other people out there, just notice, okay, this is what happens when you act on defilement. These are the sorts of things that are going to come up. So be very careful about not giving rein to your greed, your aversion, delusion. Learn how to hold them in check. Or if they do arise in the mind, you learn not to act on them. And that way you can begin to cut that cycle. You can start acting in other ways. Remember, the Buddha didn't teach just good and bad actions. He taught four kinds of actions altogether. There are what he called bright actions, which are good actions that lead to a good rebirth, or good situations even in this lifetime. Then there are dark actions that lead to suffering and samsara. Then there are mixed, dark and, and bright, which lead to mixed results in samsara. But then there's the action that leads to the end of action, and that's what takes you out. We have that option as well. So we're not stuck in that cycle. We don't have to keep spinning around. We can figure out some way to cut the connections, realizing it's not an, a wheel. It's a series of influences that can affect one another back and forth, but we can make a difference with our alertness, with our mindfulness, with our ardency to get out of, out of all this, particularly the ardency. When the Buddha defines mindfulness, it's very neutral. You just remember things that have happened. Alertness is also neutral. You're aware of whatever you're doing, skillful or unskillful. It's the ardency that wants to get rid of the unskillful things and develop the skillful things. That's where your discernment comes. That's where your wisdom comes. So use that desire to overcome your greed, aversion, and delusion so you can get out of the cycle. and direct yourself to something that's a lot better.